Hello, this is Samuel. This video is the guys of Teleshave. We already start, 5 games in progress. And still waiting for 2 players. Here we already have French defense. Ok, d4. Knight of c6 is not good move. Firstly, better to protect d5 pawn this e6 because this move allows me to play c takes d5 and after it uh, black should take this knight and I can immediately play e4 this tempo or queen d5 and knight c3 this tempo and if pawn stays on e6 after taking you can take this pawn on d5 so I'm taking Ok, d5, knight d2 is my favorite option. Ok, one more player connect to our game. Still one person and not in play. We are waiting for him. e4, c5, c2 is my main opening. Knight of three still developing takes oh bishop f five is is interesting option of course but what about what about knight c three knight c three knight d five Ok, I can't have playing e4, because after knight c3, b takes, bishop takes on e4, and black have a pawn up, has a pawn up. Ok, f3 is an interesting option, this idea to uh, protect on d5, knight d5 allows e4, it's a fork, simply fork, winning the game, queen d5, e4, Queen e5, bishop d2 also winning for white. Um, maybe on f3 is better option to take on b1. Suddenly take on b1, rook b1, queen d5. And for example, after e4 takes even on a2. Um, strategically is very risky. But who knows, maybe later. Uh, this extra pawn. Black will have reasonable playing. Let's try to do it. <laughs> e takes d5. Queen d5 is also a possible option. I'm still developing. Ok, let's, let's try real Lopez. Knight of 6, c4. Bishop d6 is possible move. Not sure that on d6 he stays really nice. He looks at my g3 pawn and uh, in fact doing nothing. Um, but Anyway, maybe it's normal. Maybe it's normal. Usual move is bishop e7 and later knight f6. It's the usual arrangement for black in this structure. Um, for the last time, I started to practice the double thing keto, and I'll try to do it in this time. e6 knight c3 allows Nimtso Indian and knight f3 allows b6 bishop a6 bishop b7 um, ok go to Nimtso Indian ok stay inspiration Ah, 
I need time to think. Okay. D4, of course, is the main move here. Yeah, he played bishop e1, as I said previously. I haven't got enough possibilities I should take. And knight c6. In the previous simul, I am already met this variation, and you know I have a real problems in it, so I'll check that theory and know that main move here is bishop b5 because uh, it's very very risky to immediately take on c5 uh, it should seems like d5 pawn is isolated and it's a real weakness but in fact after knight b3 bishop b6 black's idea is to play knight f6 castle in and put the knight on e4 attacking f2 f2 pawn and uh, you know later also black have idea of bishop g4 make an unpleasant pin and knight e5 and in that case why try to immediately change these knight and m maybe not change just make a pin yeah, Nim to Indian, bishop b4, d5 is also was possible, move leads to cows but structures. Um, okay, here I am played, uh, playing pretty rare line, I'm playing here f3. I'm playing here f3, and okay, let's see what, what happened later. When d5. Oh, even don't know. I of course can just protect in the pawn by a3, but it gives him uh, some time to play knight c6, c5, um, maybe knight c6, e5. Uh, I have not got a good version to play e4. Okay. Let's try to. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I want to sacrifice e4, queen e2, but I completely miss that I'm also sacrificing if he play e4, knight takes e4. Oh. It could be very unpleasant. After taking on e4, he takes queen e4 and taking on b1. Queen e4, queen e2. Queen b1, queen b5 check, and this one and it's all over. Uh, ha 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 ha. Wow. Crafty opening, I mean, uh, for me it already seems that why have a big advantage, but one accurate move like e4 and uh, all of the advantage just disappear. Uh -huh. Maybe I should just play in a3 and I don't know. a3 or queen even... Maybe queen b3 is a normal move. Going to the endgame, queen d4 is impossible due to queen b7. And it's a bad version for black. Um, takes, takes. Knight c6, e3. Bishop spare in center. Uh, gives me slightly better chances. Very interesting. Okay, let's go on it. We should be two. A3. Yeah, queen b6 is a possible move. I don't know. I checked the theory, but I don't remember it. I already don't remember it. Maybe I should take on c6. Maybe I should make a check after queen e2. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what I should do? Interesting. 
takes, takes, castle. Um, I don't know, you know. Queen e2 looks normal. Queen e2. Bishop e6, we should check something uh, like knight g5 because knight d4 is impossible due to the pin. So we immediately attack e6. But here may come wild tactic. For example, knight g5, long castle, knight e6, rook e8. And who knows, maybe all these transformations in Black's favor. Who knows? I, 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 I'm done now. Okay, let, let's play the easiest way. I'm just taking out c6. Knight c6. Uh, knight c6 is possible, but uh, the main idea of moves like knight c6 is to play in e5. I'm not sure that Black manage here to play e5 because I'm at any at any time can play d4 and taking control under the square trustly better push the pawn on c5 it's my opinion um, e5 okay I immediately prevented O O O F six F six Let me see Usually uh, these uh, moves like this allows um, some tactics these sacrifice the knight on e5 for example d takes e5 f takes e5 uh, bishop takes c6 b takes c6 knight e5 d takes e5 and queen h5 g6 is impossible due to queen e5 and queen takes h8 uh, so black should play king d7 and king d7 um, you know I'm not sure I'm not sure that it's working here for white um, okay I don't really want to waste my time on uh, calculating unnecessary variations because I don't think that f6 is strategically good decision. It block f6 square for the knight, so gives me just advantage in development. I'm playing just knight c3. Here I should take a3 is ambitiously, absolutely. Idea is to play b4, uh, taking the center from the flank. Okay, let me first make a hit in the center. Okay, I will take here a6. Uh, now I can take and promote e4. Queen d5, knight c3, so I, I firstly want to play knight f6. After c4, I also can sacrifice the pawn by e6, d takes, bishop e6. I haven't got a pawn, but later I play knight c6 and put maybe knight on d4. It's give me a reasonable strategical compensation. It uh, happens pretty often. I play knight f6. Okay, about it we talked previously. I play e4. Yeah, it's still a theory. It's pretty wild theory in this line. Uh, it, it was. It will be hard me for me to say all of the variations for you. Um, I will play on the main line. So let's see what will be happen in the game. C takes d5. Bishop c5. Yeah, is logical. Attacking f2 pawn. I want to castle. 
My idea is to check by rookie one. Oh, but he oh, he can play ninety seven. I'm also, I'm also a forget about always forget about possibility of knight e7 in this kind of position uh, automatically I'm just calculate knight f6 rook e1 bishop e6 and then I have some possibilities like knight b3 and later knight g5 or immediate knight g5 oh here is attacking on f2 okay knight uh, castle and knight f6 knight b3 and bishop d6 rook e1 bishop e6 knight g5 Attacking e6, and I'm absolutely forget again about it. Okay, now, anyway, I'm should castle. Okay, he don't want to hold the pawn by c4, so I take it to this and knight. Queen e7. Normal decision. I'm just finishing the development. Okay, if you want, I will take. Maybe six. I think white have a clear positional advantage, but of course, full of high, full of fight ahead. Bishop is <laughs> pretty crafty. Uh, Combine ideas of long castle and short castle, but I think I have here possibility of c4 immediately create the fruit of c5 then in the bishop, so c4 Bishop c4 uh, Honestly not attacking my knight So I I it's no need for me immediately move it back from the center I think so. Uh, I don't know what happened. What will happen? Uh, I'm just knights knight c6 or maybe e6 bishop g4 and knight c6 is a normal move. B takes d takes c5 leads to d takes c5 and some kind of end game. Uh, no. I don't want to play the end game right now, so I'll play bishop free. Yeah, knight d5, d takes c5. The idea is uh, after d takes c5, main move is queen a5. Let's see, um, will it be played? Uh, d takes c5, knight c3 is a bad move because after taking on d8, king d8, bishop b2. Knight should go away from c3, and I will take on g7 winning the pawn. For example, knight a4, bishop g7, rook g8, bishop d4, holding the pawn on c5, knight c6, and bishop f2. And, uh, pair of bishops and the extra pawn, it's uh, it, it already close to decisive advantage. Knight f6, yeah. Jakob saved me in challenge. I'm not a loss challenge right now. Apply challenge, I mean. <laughs> oh. You know, French defense is the most annoying defense for me. I don't want. I don't know how to. Uh, how to. Well, coordinate my pieces here. Okay, knight b. Maybe a free bishop of two. Rook of two ninety four. No, it's queen d four and two pieces for the rook and pawn, and it's in wise favor. Definitely in wise favor. Maybe free. E six. Yeah, holding the center. I'm just playing here. Maybe it's better for me to play in something like g6 here, just. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we 
or the sherbet. Oh. Oh, oh. Here I can play c5, winning the bishop. Yeah, he knows he played it pretty fast. Queen a5, e4. e4, what the idea? Knight c3 is a bad move due to queen d2. It makes the pin, and later I want to play bishop b2, and again. Knight on c3 stays rather dubious, so I will play e4 and um, queen c3 uh, can't be played because uh, because of bishop d2. Uh, the main opportunities after e4 is knight c7 and knight e7. e4, bishop d6. Okay, I give a check just to see what will happen okay takes I will take also bishop d2 bishop g7 still finishing bishop g3 honestly I calculate that will be played bishop takes c5 um, reaching two pawns for the bishop but bishop g3 have a since after h g3 later black have some perspective of playing h5 h4 maybe open some files and um, who knows maybe my extra piece on king side or, or i mean on queen side don't give me an opportunity to defend my king takes on g3 I don't want to play f takes g3, so I will take the sh pawn. Another game is free. I don't want to trade knight c3 because after knight c3, bishop c3, I also should trade my bishop on g7, but I like, I really like this bishop on g7. He controls main diagonal. And okay, I'm I'm just, oh sorry, I'm going back on this knight. B6, queen d7. Okay, I will castle long. Maybe I'm already trying to start something, something uh, active, something attacking. Castling. Knight is seven. Okay. Bishop e three. Uh, on queen c three will lead king f two. Knight a d seven. Knight e2 I'm sure this is the, the development but um, by the, his last move knight a d7 he creates the idea of playing c5 or e5 um, trying to change some pieces so um, it's always in the in endgames it's uh, very often I mean uh, in favor of weaker side to try to uh, reach some trades. Maybe I have have a sense to play b4, uh, gaining a space advantage on queen side. I'm absolutely preventing c5 promotion, and e5 e5 can be met by d5. Maybe who knows. Uh, 92, I don't like c5 move. C takes uh, later with idea take on d4 and put the bishop on c5. 
trying to change uh, like uh, dark square bishops yeah 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 oh rook c1 is normal move my rook on b1 doing nothing so i can play rook c1 active move i'm taking c7 pawn and uh uh, also, I'm preventing. Uh, I'm taking control on the c5 square, so uh, I like this move. H5, yeah. She plays with attacking potential. Attacking ideas, bravo. You know, I'm not sure that. Black is losing here immediately. Of course, there stays worse without peace, but I'm always scared about this kind of attack. You, you never know at what time uh, happens sacrifice. Okay, I'll try to finish the development. Let's see what happened. Castling. Uh, ninety seven. I don't want to trade to trade pawns on E five. But how to improve? Maybe G4, G5. Trying to create the weakness on E5. Okay, I like this idea. Queen E2. Why he is not still finishing the development? Here I can play Bishop G4, creating the idea of Knight D4. Yeah, I like it. Castle, yeah, it's, it's nice. Okay, Queen D4, Knight C6. I haven't got the time to put my Queen on B4. Uh, maybe Queen B3. Who knows? Just protecting and creating an idea of queen b4. Yeah. Rook h6. Rook h6. Okay. I'm already a little bit scared about my king. How one is a classic set? If you, if one of the side plays on a flank, play on the center. So maybe it's still normal sacrifice the pawn, but mm, no, I should think uh, that I think that I should um, prepare it. I will play here. 94, yeah. Okay, here is a interest position. I can take on e4, d takes e4, queen d takes and d6, e takes e3. Black is exchange up, but I have interesting opportunity of bishop g5. Creating idea of queen e7 checkmate. f6, rook e1, king f7. Here, queen e7, king g6. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I saw an aspiration. Rook e4, d takes e4, queen takes d6, e takes f3, 
bishop g5, f6, rook e1, king f7, rook e7, check, king g6, rook takes g7, king takes g7, queen takes f6, king g8, bishop h6. I have not got a defense for black. I have two frites, queen g7 and queen f8. Let's go on it. Yeah, it was my idea. H4, I want to met with g4. Queen e4. Mm -hmm. If I'm take queen f3, knight d4, queen d1. Okay, I, I think I'm still still nice. Pretty nice. But yeah. Uh, maybe I should do in this. Here takes 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 bishop f3 bishop f3 okay bishop d6 normal protects a pawn I can win I ah, know I can win it I, I mean I I want to play e5 but it allows bishop b4 check crafty strategical uh, trap because e5 is a uh, um, really bad move from strategical point of view it gives a d perfect d5 square for the knight and black have two knights one of them uh, definitely will stay on d5 just ignoring and finishing the development okay Bishop h1 or bishop h3 or bishop h1 who knows who knows g4 g4 rook g6 f3 f5 oh i i don't like this position i uh, feels like i'm uh, sometime later i will play bishop f3 f3 rook one king of one queen two queen d3 going on the queen side you know okay i'm i'm playing here and just in case protecting g4 pawn for one more time yeah like in my variation knight g6 g5 now can be made by bishop e7 so let's try to disturb the knight Queen c7, reasonable move. Knight d2. Idea is to play knight d4, knight b5, knight d6. Okay. Okay, I will have a little break because is no games. Oh, takes a free. Uh -huh. Dangerous, positional, strategically is dangerous. But if white managed to play h4, h5, it will be already dangerous for black because um, this bishop on e2 have a height power. After takes on g6, white Queen can take on g6. Ah, knight d4, long castle. Maybe not so easy. You know, I will go, I will try to go to the end game. Yeah, like in my variation, bishop g5. Yeah, I'm when I, when I'm set about bishop g5, I'm just I'm just don't see an another defense for black because uh, bishop g5, queen b7 is also protects. Uh, oh no, it, 
it opened d8 square. So yeah, bishop g5 definitely. Knight d7, knight d7. <laughs> okay, I'm completely lo lost my thoughts about theory in this variation. How might gain some perspectives to play for a win here? I, I don't remember. D4, knight c5, knight c5, queen b4, maybe queen b4 or queen b5. Yeah, queen, I like queen b5. Queen b5, a6. a6 from one side is a good move, from another it makes b6 square weak. Um, later could put some pieces on it. Queen b5, a6, queen b4, e5. Because knight c6, my idea is to play queen b2, for example. And now queen is covered and uh, black can't take on c5. I'm, I mean this line. But still, I'm, I'm already done like my position. He, he, he. I simply don't know what to do. <sighs> queen c4, queen b4, queen b5. Queen c4 allows b6, I don't like this. Because my knight, my queen on c6 will send uh, without protection. Also queen c6, oh, oh. Queen c6 lost 95. And I should play queen b5, a6, queen b1. Mm, risky, risky. Very risky. Queen b4, knight c6. Also possible. Queen b4, knight c6, queen b2, knight e5. Knight e5, knight e5. Ah, I don't like it. Don't like completely. Absolutely don't like the position. Maybe, maybe I should forget about this pawn on c5, putting something like knight d4, knight c5, queen c4. Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm just moving it back. G give it back to my opponent. G5. Uh, have not got attacking potential on this move. Just stuck in it instead of against my pawn. Now I can try to open the center. Yeah. Ah, what was his idea? Wow. Pretty nice after bishop d4, I lose knight e5, and my pawn on g4 is hanging. I should take on e5. Yeah, missed it, missed it. Absolutely. Okay, move. Just in case, yeah. Like I said, uh huh. He want to m improve his pawn structure. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Naku one o two. Also have s some um, advantage after the opening part of the game.
Yeah, 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 like I said. Okay, I will play it. I close rook is seven, king g six or oh, king g eight, rook g seven, king g seven, queen f six, king g eight, bishop h six. I I don't see how black can prevent both mates on f eight and g seven. I believe that here is already no defense. Rook seven E five Ambitiously, ambitiously. I can take here. Yeah, ninety five. <sighs> Suddenly, black stays normal. They they after bishop e five f takes e five. They won't just play bishop e seven rook f eight, and, and maybe even um, make the castle and by king f seven and king g eight. Okay. Um, Missed it completely. Missed it at all. Maybe sacrifice a pawn of the queen g3, knight g4, f3. Ninety five H5. Will I have a compensation or not? I I believe I will. Okay. Okay here can see four. Takes Ninety five oh. bishop b five and b c four bishop d four. Uh, pretty cover all the points and black pieces have a disharmony in my opinion. Takes knight d four. Okay, rook g seven coming. Yeah, with the bishop a6. Uh, I can put knight on b5, and if black will play in a6, it uh, means that uh, they will not play bishop a6. And if they play bishop a6, they can't really use this pin. So I have time to develop, to finish the development. Okay, I'll play in b5. Bishop takes e5. Taking here, I, I'm simply protected. Maybe not simply protected. I'm scared that my bishop haven't got moves from b3. But right now, he can't. It's it, it impossible to attack him. So rook c2. My idea is to play c4 at right moment, to again break the pawn structure and close this uh, bishop. Firstly, I want to put my this rook on d file and this rook on c file. Um, I can start this this move. 
Challenge accepted. <laughs> Knight takes g4. f3, knight e5, h5. I, I think it's not so easy to finish the development for black. Let's do it. Queen c6, bishop e2, for example. CD. Okay, I'm a, I'm a greedy one. I will take everything. Okay, he now takes on H on G7, King H5. I believe that the mate already something. He, I, I'm very close to it. I believe. Maybe even just queen f6 with the freed of queen h6 and thing of queen f3. Yeah, I think it's enough. Okay, as I said previously. H5, knight d5, mm, nice, nice. Later, trying all in my moving back. My knight from d4 by c3. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Anyway, let's take it. And here I will take everything. E5. Why, why, wow, wow, wow. After bishop e6. My queen feels himself very uncomfortable. Oh, even I have. Oh, 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 a six is fritting. Oh, wow. And what should I do? And what to do? Bishop is six, queen before. But what move right do right now? A four. I I don't see another move than A four opening the A three square for the knight. Mm, maybe Bishop C five also B takes C five. Uh, <laughs> something like Queen D Queen D three maybe. Trying no trying to put knight on D six or queen on D six. <laughs> no, I don't like position my position in this game. So e4. Whoa, wow, d5. I'm. I believe that is bad move. These pawns, d6 and f6, are suddenly. Um, create very solid blockade and um, perfect support for the knight on e5 and here I just take on e5 on d5 I even don't know wh where is the better to take I want to take here E6, bishop b7, rook b8, bishop a6. Uh, let's calculate this position. I want to improve my pressure on b2 pawn. Knight e2, king d2, knight f3. Um, control in the d2 square, c3. And, um, 
looks like I haven't got a compensation on the on this line. Hmm. Very interesting. But if I'm just protecting my pawn by b6, he had got the time to play c3. Oh, maybe you know c3 is not a real free for some time. Because after c takes d4, I will take c takes d4 with check and take on e3. So maybe playing b5? Why not? B5 C3. Not B5 C3. <laughs> and here is a problem for me. Okay, B6 is solid. Here I'm just takes. Here 2. C5. I can check here. Check here. Um, maybe I have more in this position. Maybe this time. Hmm. Okay. Don't really see how I can. Reach something else. This move, this three. Uh, no. Okay, let's see in the direct line of the queen f3, bishop g4, queen f7, queen g6, rook g6, hg, bishop. E. Just going back on e3, and it should be simply win a position. Should be, I mean. G6, yeah. <clears throat> what is the idea? What is the point? Okay, I'm... should finish the development but uh, I can do it in two ways king of two and castle I'm not sure the castle is a good decision because we are already in the end game and my king should stay how much possible closer to center king d2 is uh, too much close to the center because after long castle is um, it allows uh, unpleasant opposition in the d file, so I will play king f2. I'm just going with this end game with this extra pawn after takes takes in takes d5. c3 em. I w what I want to do. Knight e2 is impossible. Knight e3 is. Haven't got it since knight c6 back. b6. a takes b6, I mean. Mm. Now I want to pinch right on the light squares on the queen side. But how to manage it? Queen e2 is covered by queen. R <coughs> Sorry. Maybe rook c1. La. Yeah. R firstly rook c1. Later rook e1 and queen e2. Because rook e1 here allows queen d6 with tempo. So rook c1. 
Looks like I'm controlling everything with my lapis. And here I'm just take him. Go into the center. E6. Yeah, bishop g4. Queen f7. Castle him. H4, H5 in this kind of position is not really good. Why well, haven't got a, a normal attack? So um, better to concentrate the pieces in the center, where well, will be the main fight. So I play rook d1. Okay, I will take an as a uh, rook f3, rook d7, bishop d6, rook g1, rook f7. H6 H6 J6 Interesting opportunity, I missed this castle I will take Anyway Queen D6 yeah. That's why I'm not playing first rook Q1 because after rook c1, queen d6, I already have a move queen e2. d3, queen f3. I want to open my bishop. Queen e2. Bishop c4. Uh -huh. I have some person to play knight e5. I can't understand, will it be useful for me to take on c4? From one side, I will reach one extra pawn on king side, so it will be for my pawns on these three on for the opening. But from another, it opened d file, and um, who knows, maybe white will penetrate on it. For example, variation knight e5, king e2, knight takes c4, d takes c4, uh, rook hd8, bishop, bishop g5, f6. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm firstly check rook d1, rook d1, f6. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm, uh, I don't think that rook fd8, king e2 is better for black, so. 95 is normal move. Rook h4. Oh, unfortunately, it gives me a possibility to mate in two. Rook f3. Rook f3. Let's go on d7. Anna resigned. Thank you, Anna, too. Well, it was an interesting game. I, I'm really, uh, I'm really like your tactical approach, even in worse positions. So, uh, good luck to you and uh, all the best. Yeah, queen g6. Uh, I still believe that he have a more more comfortable, but okay, T just taking. Here I should go to only three. I only got another. Okay, I will play here, make it the L position. Yeah, I'm going back on E3, just on E3, creating the 
We're going back on the free crate in the idea of queen d5. Maybe at some time. Rook okay, d8. Also, it's interrelated that I should load the pieces. Uh huh. You know, I'm not sure that my advantage here is so so because I'm as I supposed earlier, if honestly. Oh, firstly, I was more g3 to protect the pawn on h2 for some time. Rook e8. Hmm. I can. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Crafty, crafty. Rook e1, bishop g5. I suppose that I can pin it, but. Hmm. Maybe it's nice for me to play a3 to have an a salon for the king, king b1, king a2. Yeah, okay. It allows bishop takes a3. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, okay. A3, bishop takes a3, b takes a3, rook takes a3, rook g1, and I'm taking g7 pawn. The most important pawn in this structure. But the Velik also have a opportunity to attack my piece. So how to play? Maybe rook g1 immediately, bishop f6, knight d5. Maybe it's not uh, it's not dangerous and my king is in pretty safety. O okay, let's try to do it. Rook g1. I mean King e2, yeah. How to play Thursday? Maybe f5 open some prospects for my pieces. f5, f4, and g4, mm, g4 f5. I, I don't like what I'm rich here. How to, how to put my pieces? Okay, maybe it's best, <laughs> but really don't like it. G four, bishop four, or bishop g five. Yeah, I don't like my position. In my opinion, it's just worse. So I I I go in back on c six. I I don't see any other possibilities. Creating a mate in one idea. I'm just playing f h three. Queen before. Here I'm also don't like my position. And already, oh, again, again creating bishop g5 idea. Why I miss it? It's a bistic. But here I'm already, um, I like the move for free. Mm. 
Rook d2. Rook d2. Preparing maybe rook hd1 and d4. Uh, trying to create the pass pawn. I will play on e. a5 b4. Uh, too many. Too passive position, Eric. I don't like it. Who knows? I don't know what to do here. Nah. Just will play rook d6. This idea to double the rook and d file. Okay, at least for checkmate to one, queen h7. Yeah. Here we close this window. Rook H E eight. I think this knight is too passive, but I don't know how to use the fact that this stays here, this stays here, close the rook on d8, but it, it's still pretty solid for black. Maybe it's bad, for, it's good for me to play, put my pawns on b3 and a4 instead of b2 and a3, because on b3 and a4 will be in the safety due to the black have only one dark square bishop. Uh, I think positionally, strategically, it's normal decision. I will play b3. Bishop c5. Okay, I will take on g7 firstly, and let's see what will happen next. Rook c2. I'll play here. A5. Yeah, here I'm. Here I'm in trouble. In the real trouble. How to play? How to play? Doesn't. Doesn't doesn't know, don't know, don't know. Completely don't know. Um, maybe a five. Because using the fact that b takes c5 is impossible due to queen c5. No, no. If I take, take, bishop f2, um, e4, it looks scary, very scary. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should sacrifice the pawn. Castle f takes e4, f takes e4. Queen takes e4, queen takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop e4. Bishop f3, I mean. Ah, using some pin. Um, I think practically it is my best chance. So I will, I will try it. Here I have two possibilities, I can go on b1 and e2 mm, and 
Another rook h7, king g8, rook g7, rook d g7, king f8, rook h8, king g7, rook e8. I will reach endgame with two pawns, but uh, rook f5. And honestly, I don't want to leave this so, str so strong rooks, so I will firstly play king b1. Win my king into the safety. Also, I don't like my position here. Ninety five D four. If I have E for I mean mm. what to do here E five is is possible move taking control under these two squares but it allows bishop c four. I don't like it. It completely weakens the light squares and Only white have a light square bishop. I mean this. Okay, I'm I'm tired to just stay in a long place and I will play here. Oh, it's interesting connection, I absolutely missed it. How to improve my pieces? Knight d5, knight d4. Rook h7, maybe again coming back to this variation. Rook h7, king g8. Rook g7, king f8. Rook h8, king of g7. Uh, rook b8, rook f5. Rook b7, or bishop d6. Ah, uh, black will have a compensation after taking on h5. We'll have a very strong passage pawn. So I'm not sure that it's uh, uh, even in its wise favor. Maybe best for me is just continue my plan by playing king two. Yeah, yeah, I think it's normal. You have takes e4, f takes e4, e3. Okay, moving, moving king closer to the center. Rook e6. Rook e6. Why? I think you want to put the rook on d6, making the pin. Um, but okay, I will continue my plan. Uh, rook d6, and later he can move the knight from d7, open the second rook, and it will be very dangerous. But again, rook d6 f4 right now, so I will play f4. Queen takes e4, yeah. Is it possible move? If I what will happen if I take on c5? B takes c5, queen takes e4. So need to play queen e2 and bishop is seven. 
rook of one, rook of one, queen three. I will play here. Okay. I will try to change it. Before uh, nice played because um, make me weaknesses on the both sides. I think is very comfort very comfort advantage for white. Sorry. How to play here? How to play? It's, it's not me, it's not you, it's not my not B eight bishop C four. And what else? I need to take, but it's just bad position. I have a little break, so I temporarily pause it. the simul. Taking on it too, but now I, I can take on e seven. Could I take on e seven? Take on f one. Take on f one. Queen e three. King h one. King e two. Bishop d five, for example. Oh, immediate bishop e seven, rook f one, rook f one, bishop d five. Wow. And how to protect? I don't know how to protect. How to protect on g2? Rook f2, queen e1, rook e1, queen e3, king h1, queen e2. Uh, it is if black want to play for a win. Rook g1, bishop g2. Rook g2, queen f1, rook g1, queen f3, it's a draw. Okay, I will take it. I haven't got another possibility. A B A B F takes E four D takes E four not good How to play How to how to play uh, I don't so I don't even see normal opportunities for me. Um, absolutely don't see anything. How to play? How to play? 
maybe knight b8 bishop c4 a6 and b5 but it allows later c4 this creating the pest pawn oh Hard one, hard one. Okay, knight b8. Bishop d6, knight d5. Want to m move my knight on f6. And also taking an aim pawn on c7. Yeah. Takes, takes. How can I use these um, weak knights? I don't know, maybe it's not weak, but in my opinion they are weak. Okay, I will take the control on the D file. Okay. Here I can play even knight b6 and I take the rook on b6, but I want to play knight f6 because I, I, I don't see the defense from the checkmate. Yeah. Bishop c4. How to play, how to play. You know, this pair bishop's advantage in open positions like this is very strong because why have a, a simple idea of moving back the bishop from c4 to b3, playing c4, c5, and, uh, and, and what next? What next for black? Pawns are just going to the uh queen promoted how to play maybe a6 b5 no oh, maybe rook c8 for some time uh, preventing bishop b3 because of pawn on c3 Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I can take on B two. Of course, I can take, but I want to give exactly the checkmate, so I will play King E one. Yeah, Bishop D five. I should play rook f2, I don't know, I, 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 I don't r really see another possibilities. R rook f2, okay. b5. Uh, fixed my weak pawns on the weak pawn in c1 on the queen side. It's logical, it's very logical. Very strong player by playing by Noku one or two. Um, even have not got the words. How to say this? It's really strong. Okay, I will play knight d7, maybe later on c5. 
and for example after rook e1 I will play rook c7 and I don't care about bishop e4 due to the fact when my knight stays on d7 I have a move bishop e5 it's checkmate here Alice understood things. Here we finished. Here we finished. Stay playing Alice. Okay, Queen E1 check. Rook of 1. Is it draw? I don't know. Or maybe Black have something 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 stronger stronger than draw i don't know but it seems like i should hold this position yeah very nice prophylaxis protecting on c3 preparing bishop b3 you know very very nice maybe but here allows 95 let's try to do it because it covers the rook and I have a knight d3 on the next move if black uh, if the bishop moves from it yeah 95 Hmm. Queen e3. I can play king h1. Queen e2, rook g1. Very interesting. Okay, I'll play it. B King h1, queen e2, rook g1. Black at least have a perpetual check after bishop g2, rook g2, queen f1, rook g1, queen f3, rook g2, queen f1. Uh, but mm, it's hard for me to calculate all the variations, and I don't just uh, want to uh, believe to my intuition that. Uh, here I'm okay but I'm not sure if honestly okay we're all, uh, nice react attacking a seven pawn maybe rook d7 rook e2 knight c4 rook e7 Still, I don't like my position. <laughs> Rook seven should be played. Rook G one, a king. Knight F four, Knight D four. How else I can improve it? Let's create the free by bishop c2.
Key here will take. All my open still thinking, so. Give me a little break. I take a little break. Taking on C4. This pawn. Rook C8 two is coming, attacking my seven pawn, and. Uh, Still, in my opinion, maybe I ha have a reason to uh, move my bishop from g7 to b8 to protect. Oh, sorry, sorry, from e5 to b8. Um, completely improving pawn on e7. Let's try to do this. Yeah, rook is seven. Hmm. What anyone else? What to do? What to do? Maybe let's see one eighty four. I know one ninety four. Okay, I will play knight f4. I like this move. Okay, I don't want it, but I need. Seems like he play for a win. It's nice. Rook C8. Black has got concrete three, but all this pressure is very annoying. Very annoying. And very, the most important factor that my knight stays on A3. And it's very bad square of I am. Queen B takes. Queen takes B6. Let's check this variation. Queen takes b6, bishop g2, rook g2, queen f1, rook g1, queen f3, rook g2, rook c3. Oh no, I have I have only three games and I haven't got the time to calculate, so I just take it and maybe I will lock it. Oh, Berlin. Uh, no, I think the queen b6 uh, is impossible due to rook c3. It was very, very pretty idea of bishop g2 so, or something like this. But I, I, on rook c3, I have simple queen d8 win the knight win the bishop on d5. So I will take on b6. Here, f5. Let's create some weaknesses for him by g5. f5, nice. But what will be if I'm just taking it? Bishop f4, bishop f4, bishop c3, rook e2. Now let me see it. Oh, g5 I also can I even can play knight g2 
Oh, I, I think he missed queen d8. Bishop c3, rook 2 we or rook d3 this tempo. Rook, rook 2 is enough, I think. Yeah, h3. h5 is the idea to create the press pawn by g4 and e f takes g5 i will take bishop e5 and later my idea going back to b8 playing rook d c7 attacking c4 pawn and after will king d3 protecting it i will play e5 so and pawn g5 in my opinion not so dangerous because i can block it by king g7 No, still, my, my knight is hanging. Well, not really hanging. Maybe rook b1 have got a scenes creating mating ideas and rook a3 is impossible due to uh, queen c5 check double check double hit I mean rook b1 okay and in, in this case if black ignore my ideas I will play g4 creating maybe pass pawn here i can pull my knight on e6 oh here i think i will play this f pawn i completely if i also miss this move but I, I I should I, I suppose that I should have something after rook b7. I suppose that it should be it enough. And now I'm going on a five. Taking here, taking here, Rook b4 is also possible check. Rook b4, e4. Queen h6. Queen f5. I can't play king f5, pawn and h5 is hanging, but how to improve the pieces? Rook d7 leads to king d3, maybe later you king a4, rook h4, rook h7 is optimal. Check my d5. B4 
bishop g5 my are made on the king side should decide the game i think let's see Oh, on rook d7, well, he have got a king c5 move. What? What I can do in this case? Rook d, king c5, rook king d7. Uh, it's wild so let's show let, let, let's see what's happened king e3 king e3 how to improve again Maybe I should take the control on the d file by rook d8. Now, when king stays on e3, he covered the bishop and c5 is impossible. So one can play rook d8. Oh, I think this should be a win. Or also this. He wants to play knight c3 and knight g4, of course. So, in this case, I should protect it from both of them free and playing rook d4. Seven. D two. Knight c four. Here is all over, unfortunately. Yeah, he resigned. Two games are left. one <laughs> maybe play bishop c7 with a d bishop d8 and creating the trap bishop c7 or rook a7 bishop e5 rook d7 bishop f4 and only after it rook d7 i will try to play it Trying to play bishop d8 and uh, disturb the queen side. The king side, I mean. Okay, rook e7. Bishop e5, rook e7, bishop e4, walking. Bishop e5, f takes e5. Rook e7 should be winning. Yeah, c5. Rook c4. Okay, rook c4. Maybe even knight b6.
you b6 i can also play just h3 and i think these four pawns will decide the game i can take the prim move here i think my active pieces are, are much more stronger than opponents especially difference between the kings i'm also threatened this rook c7 so b6 yeah i can just play in three and i will do it Nice using the the pin. Lucky me, I have a knight f four. Rook d two or rook c seven. Or bishop d six maybe even. Let's try rook d2, it's more active. I like it. Here I have only one move. One, I, I want to play rook h2 here, creating not only rook h4 idea, also rook h1 within the rook. Knight d5. Okay, my my main goal here is to mm, change the rest of pieces. I will try to firstly uh, change the rooks. Rook e4. Here I play bishop f2 and check him. Rook f knight. Let's try to knight. To change the knights. I will take. Okay, he now want to do it. So I will try to improve it on C4. Stay on C4. Yeah, he resigned. Still one game in the progress. Take on d3, take on d3. I will put my knight on the center and start to promote the pawns on king on king side. Knight e5. want to move it on c4 for example when he will just stay perfectly I take him for some time on uh, b6 pawn I'm just going back to this temple oh oh I missed the check on d1 okay 
makes my task difficult, but I still think the position is win for white. Yeah, it, it was really bad. Lucky me, I have two match pawns on king's side. I will try to make pressure by them. This is your help. Yeah. Why I would need it? Let's see for B rook d1 g5 f6 too much possibilities you know knight c4 leads to rook d1 knight b6 rook b1 and um, who knows who knows how, how can it finish g5 rook d1 h4 for example rook b1 h5 rook b3 king e4 rook g3 g6 now i play knight d3 i i don't want to allow rook to go in my camp Rookie eight. Will accurately. How to play accurately in this position? King of three, rook d eight. King d two. King d two. Rook e four. E C four on the next move. What the accuracy, uh huh? But maybe uh, King D two, Rook E four, Knight B two. Putting the bishop, putting the knight on C four, attacking B six pawn. Hard position for understanding. Very unusual in the game. Rook b4, for example, king c3, b5, knight d3. I'm not sure about the evaluation about b takes e, knight takes b4, king takes b4, knight takes b4, a takes b4, king b2, a3, king a2, uh, king g7, h5, g5. Um, maybe not king g7, maybe h6. Um, Now yeah, it's simply in position for black. Or white, I mean. Okay. Let manage to stay uh, to rook to stay on the bad square. Rook b4, king c3, rook b5, knight d3. And uh, if rook moves, I will take on c5. If not, I will play king c4. I still, I still support the endgame in my favor, but... Uh, Everything is very unclear, yeah.
Right now I have knight and two pawns for the rook. It's not really enough for the win. Yeah, King C4 is coming, and maybe Rook B7, Rook E7, Rook E3 is the idea how to uh, create the counterplay. A6, King C4. We're going back. I'm taking on C5, putting nine maybe on E6, um, but. H6 is a good move due to the fact that after H4, G5, I will manage to change one pair of pawns. And it will be doubled. But who knows, who knows. Finally, rooks go on B8. I will take on c5. Or before, I mean, I, I can play simply king c3. And my knight lady goes on e6. King G7. H4. I will try to create the best pawn. King F6 is now impossible due to knight D7 with the fork. So, anyway, I will make. Oh, it allows rook before. I'm simply crushed. I'm. Yeah, he also missed it. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just unfortunately too tired and um, miss so simple trick like rook before rook g4. And it turns out that it's a position already in black's favor. Here I still come back to g5. And pre move to hg3. Better was to do it in one move earlier. Here I go, I should go further, I think. Nice pattern will be if black play rook g4. I'll play knight e4 and look at the rook on g4, even completely trapped. For some time I will go for it. Oh yeah. And now I'm doing it. Now I'm like my position of course. But H5 continue the fight. Allows continue the fight. Yeah, here I think it's very difficult to find something how to how to save this position. I don't know. I 
I just win by two twangs. For example, here King G7, F6 check, King G6, King E5. For example, check King F7, King E5. No, oh, it's too simple. I'm just going on f5. I mean, king f7, king f5, king g6. I'm playing f7, king takes f7. I'm playing king f5. Rook takes e4, king f4, king g6, king f4, and it's simply the internet game. Oh, maybe not so simple. King h5, king f5, a4. Oh, it's. Pretty hard to understand. Don't really, don't really understand them. King g6, f7, king f7, king f5, rook takes e4, king takes e4, king g6, king f4, king h5. And what? And what? g4? Mm -mm. King f5, a4? Mm -mm. G6 A B G7 with 2 G8 B1 check. No. Nope. Maybe maybe G4 is enough. King G6, King F5, King G5, King D5, King G4, King C5, King Yeah, King F5, King B5, King G6, King F5, King D7, King B6. Yeah, it's enough. And here I'm simply caught the caught the rook in the trap. I think the here is all over. I can even take it. My knight simply stays the pawn. Yeah, and he resigned. So, I win all six games that I played today. Thanks to all participants who played. Uh, it was very nice. I have really difficult games. All, all of the games was uh, pretty hard. And in the last one, this Alexander... Uh, I think I was uh, already too tired, so I'm uh, find some dubious lines when I even can lose. I think. Oh, I should say. Thanks to, and again, thanks to all of participants. I hope that. You like it, and I will send also your uh, analysis of your games in desirable of in desired format, and um, I hope that you will participate in another my simuls. Uh, the another simuls will be at Saturday. Thanks to all. Good luck to all. All the best.